Right, now, box multiplication. Here's another way of doing some multiply sums that make it very straightforward how to manage the carries and how to manage the multiplying. So I'm going to do 437 times 28. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. As you can see, the box has got three columns across the top and two columns down the side. You've probably guessed what's coming. Remember that 437 is really 400 plus 30 plus 7. So here we go. There's the 400, there's the 30, and there's the 7. And 28, of course, is just 20 plus 8. Now, can you see where I'm going with this one? What's going to go in each one of those boxes? The answer to a very simple two-number multiplication sum with the right number of zeros. So, let's start at the top left, because that's where you always start with things the way we, we read. What's two fours? Eight. But how many zeros are there? There's one zero for the 20 and two zeros for the 400, so that makes 8,000. Just This is the essence of the whole method, so just recap. Two fours are eight, but then you got three zeros, one for the 20 and two for the 400. So you just stick them down. So you can multiply the numbers, then just count the zeros and put the answer down. I tend to go across. Some people like to go down. I'm going to go across. Two threes are six, but how many zeros? Two, so that's 600. Two sevens are 14, but there's only one zero, so that's 140. Now, bottom row, bigger number, you're going to get some uh, double-digit answers. Normally this would get us carrying, but in this occasion, as you'll see, you don't have to. What's 8 fours? 32, but then there's two zeros. So you get 32, and you stick the two zeros afterwards. No need to mess around with carrying. What's 8 threes? 24, but then there's one zero. And then finally, 8 sevens are 56. I always have to remember that a 7 sevens are 49 and add one on quick before you notice. Okay, what we do now to find the total sum is add up the six totals in the boxes. So here's me adding up sum. And this is the dangerous area. You've got to, be, you've got to watch you don't make any mistakes on the adding up because it's really sick to do that at the end. So you have to make sure things are in columns. And I get the answer 12,236. Now, you're not going to get away with this. Your turn. I want you to get a calculator, make up three or four sums, two times, uh, two times three digit, or even the three digit times the three digit, if you want to go that far. Get the answers, then do the box method and see if you can turn it to your, you know, turn it to the same answer. It might interest you to know that the box method can extend. You can use it for fractions, five and a half times two and two thirds, works quite well in a box fraction, in a box layout. You can also use it for algebra, and we'll do more of that later on. That's me lot.